my daughter, who at the time was was six, just learned how to play checkers, and she was she asked to play with Papa. In a matter of five minutes, she had him cornered. My dad was taking the wrong color and going backwards when he shouldn't go backwards. And Rory just kept saying, Papa, you're playing it wrong. And that was one of the first signs that I, I was like, something is wrong. Dad was, he was just like a fun, fun guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, dad was just, um, he didn't take anything too seriously. So he was always joking around and having a good time. He was always about experiences and, and living life. Dad was always there for us, no matter, no matter what we needed. He would drop everything and come and help us. He just wanted to make everything special. We were his pride and joy. It's, it's my dad, like how, Something's wrong with him, and you don't know what to do. We actually contacted the Alzheimer's Society. They said that Dad had to get a physical, so actually Mom went for a booked physicals for both of them, and she went in first and um, just told the doctor what we're seeing and what we're thinking. Then when Dad went in, he got tested, and then that was the final diagnosis. Mom is very tough. She wanted to take care of him, right? Dad, when he was at home and the Alzheimer's progressed, he couldn't be left at home. You couldn't leave anything out without it disappearing or being put somewhere else. He would be up in the middle of the night many times, and so that was tough because she was living on less sleep and then trying to help Dad and get him ready for the day and him just being frustrated at her. and. She said his demeanor totally changed. He would leave out the front door and then it would be a challenge to get back in. And it was really wearing on her. She needed a break, so he went in to a home for respite. It was supposed to be for two weeks. And then they said, we have a permanent bed for him. So that was when we said this has to be done. You're grieving someone who is still alive. He knows we're familiar and he's happy to see us. He has a smile on his face and he usually gets sad. We always make a point of going to see dad, right? So we try and all go together. Still when visiting him, his laugh, it's genuine. He makes a joke every once in a while, which is great to see but he's still there, he's still my dad. We won't stop visiting him because he's my dad. I don't know where we would be today without the Alzheimer's Society. When he was diagnosed, the lady from the Alzheimer's Society met with us and made us talk, made my sisters and me and my mom talk about our feelings, what we see the future as, and you know, how we have to support each other. It was hard, there was lots of tears, but looking back, it sent us in the right direction. My sisters, me and my mom, we have come closer. We talk more, we're more open. <laughs> talk to the Alzheimer's Society as soon, as soon as you see signs. They're wonderful, they're supportive, they, want to know your story, they want to help you. You see them around and they give you the time and they, they truly care. No one should have to do this alone. 